So far, we've got four. What's the food situation in the tent? Uh, Ami brought chowin. There you go. All right. All right. Okay, we're ready to roll. Is that Landau in the background? Yeah, Land that's what I said. Landau, Landau Langer, and Ami. Not even seeing them to get on my nerves. You can. Trump supporters. There's a bunch of Trump supporters here. Storming. You're wondering where Simon is? Is that what you want to know? Wait, it's like, it's like, a, it's like a COVID fest or something. What's going on over there? It sounds what it seems like. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, okay, the chaza from yesterday. So, yesterday was basically what's tonight's stuff? Memvov, right? What tonight's Memvov or Memzai? Uh, right? So um, we said the three shatam in our Mishnah, the difference whether with the dough, the dough in the bowl, what it's what the pshat is for tumma. Is it, is it talking about making the bowl tummy, not making the bowl tummy? Then the Mishnah says dough that hasn't become chametz, um, and you're not sure, meaning it stopped becoming it stopped, it stopped uh, becoming chametz. So you're not sure is it chametz or not. So you look at a similar dough. Then the Gemara says, "What happens? You don't have a similar dough, so it's a mill. A mill, 18 minutes is the is the maximum amount of time that that a that a dough will go without getting uh, without with well before it becomes chametz. And then we said that you got the same thing with davening. You got to go in the direction you're going for davening for natilas yadaim and for needing somebody's kn, needing somebody's uh, um, dough, the tahara, you got to go four mil and one mil out of the way, right? And then we said, What there's a machlaik is what to do with the dough that you're making into chala, not not chala, I mean, you have to do a frosha's chala, and it became chametz. And so now, what do you do with it? You can't bake it on Yom Tif, and you can't, uh, you can't bake it, you can't give it to the kayan. So what do you do? So we had a machleik is in the Mishnah. What do you do? So the Gemara is thinking now that the machleik is in the Mishnah is hoyel. Whether we say, well, since you could theoretically be mater neder on the hafrashas chalo, so therefore you, <laughs> you're okay. Right? Therefore you're going to be fine. And um, and uh, and then you say hoyel. So then we had two kashas on on the mandomer that says hoyel. One was from baking from Yom Tif to Shabbos. And then we had one from, from uh, shechting a behemoth that's masuk and that's going to die and you want to make sure you shecht it before Yom Tif. Right? Those were the two cases. We had two kashas on it and we answered it. So now on the bottom line, we're going to ask a few more kashas on Hoyal. Right? We're out of Pesachim for tonight. So tonight we're not, we're not in Masech to Pesachim. We're really in Masech to Beya. We're talking about Huchas Yom Tif with Hoyal. Mr. Yako. Yeah. I think tonight my room in my house is the first time I ever washed what it would have cut three times on each hand for davening. I uh, think yeah. so. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I don't know if you have to wash three. I think one is That's enough. Right. But... You wrote three. No, you wrote, you wrote three? Wrote no, one. no, one. That was in my head? Okay, <laughs> yeah. fine. Yeah, people ask it. I thought I wrote one, and then I thought I wrote three, and then people are asking, I think, I think I wrote one. I <laughs> But anyway, I, I was better than me. I, I had intention to do it and I forgot. <laughs> oh, come to think of it, did I? I know I did. I did. I washed my hands. <laughs> All the Yechidas people. What are, <laughs> yeah, I, I, yes, I did. I washed my hands before. Yes. Oh, so if it's only one, I've done that before in my life. So oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, very good. So Aceve. Well, that, well, that's because of yesterday's daft. That was because of Tysus and yesterday's daft, right? That's, uh, yeah. The importance of washing for 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 davening. Yeah, so Aceve, so they asked the Kasha, Lechem upon him, right? So what's a Lechem upon him? Where are you saying? The last three words on the daf. On Mem Vav of base. And now we're turning to the next. Okay, fine. Yeah, Aceve, Lechem upon him. So they asked the Kasha from the Lechem upon him. Lechem upon him was. Lechem upon him was that the, the showbread, right? Isn't that what they teach it? The showbread? Yeah. yeah. Showbread. 
Yeah, so anyways, sounds like a Broadway, Broadway, Broadway show, right? So the showbread, yeah, so um, every Shabbos, they replaced it. And the, the outgoing Kehanim got to eat the bread. And that's where all the Nisim, it stayed hot, it stayed fresh, etc., etc. So when exactly did they bake this bread? So Nechal Letishel Asaru Le'acharasam. This bread is sometimes baked for nine, 10, or 11 days before it's eaten. Like Pachas Velayoser, not any less than that, not any more than that. Ketzar, what's the, how do you find that? Kedarkai Letisha, the regular way is for nine days. Nefa Be'er of Shabbos, if you bake it on Erev Shabbos, Necho B'Shabbos Letisha. Obviously, it's counting the day that you bake it, right? So you bake it on a Friday, that's day one, till the next Friday, the next Friday is day eight. Shabbos is day nine, right? That would be your standard baking. It bake, gets baked on Friday, right, for Shabbos, and then it gets replaced the next, so it's nine days later, right? Well, David, you want to ask my question, or I'll ask it? Your question is, how did it last for a whole week? No. What was why the did, question? Why did it get, why did they get behind? Why did they have to wait a oh. week to, why didn't they eat it the next day? How did they get a week behind? Why didn't they make it and eat it that Shabbos? The what, first what? time. The first, the first time. time. The first time. That's why it's called showbread. Great. It had to Thank be around you. for a week sitting on the show oh, oh, Stepping on the because they wanted to sit down one day. Didn't they want it sitting a whole week? In the that was part of the Nisim. That was one of the that was the Nase. So uh, it was the Nase to show the Rosh the, 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 the could you? You're not giving a speech at NCSY. Listen to second. No, what am I talking about? Paris was smoking the meat. They needed a whole week to smoke the meat to make some this, <laughs> and that's when the bread was ready. It was perfect. Listen, listen a second. This is the show, Dov. Listen a second. <laughs> Go ahead. It says they made it Thursday, and then they use it the following Shabbos. Why didn't they use it that Shabbos? What, what was on the showbread table that for, first Shabbos in the base of Migdish? What was on the table? Last I, I, week leftover. Ravar, it was last week. There was why? always a week. Why? The, that's second, the second. Second. There was a week lag. Well, why is there a week lag? They, they got it in that. We're opening the base of Migdish this Shabbos. Let's go get the bread from where? From Dominic's freezer? What, why didn't they put the fresh bread that they made the day before? That's Matzah yeah. Pesach. We're borrowing Matzah Pesach is when we get it from Zamek's freezer. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> yeah, that uh, reminds me of Meister Lansky and the Zman is coming, you know? Remember that? The Z-Man. The yeah. Z-Man. Z-Man. The Z-Man is, is back. Z-Man. That's right. Yeah. And hey, 30 minutes, was, 30 minutes was, after the Z-Man, right? Yeah. Yeah. We gave trouble to Yishved at whole Pesach. Whatever. Anyway, so like this. I was there in the store when we pulled him from the freezer, Matzah Pesach. There you go. Speaking <laughs> of, Tiakov, the guy told me that the donuts, they come, they take it out on Shabbos, Hanukkah. They make them, they freeze them, and the guy goes in Shabbos afternoon because there's no way they're going to have all of them ready, Matzah Hanukkah. So I guess they have a header that there's no Isar Hachana for a guy. Okay. I, it's already cooked. It's already cooked. Not, it's, it's not the worst the thing. Hachana for, a guy, hachana for a guy is not the worst thing in the world. Um, but one now second. I heard Alanisim, and that's, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I don't understand something. Am I missing something? They baked the bread on a Friday, and that was the bread they used for the whole week, right? What do you mean they used it? That where it went, no, I'm wrong. No, they baked I, the bread I on Friday. They looked at it for a week. They looked at it for a week. They baked it on Friday. I thought this bread goes on to the shulchan the next day. Right? Yeah, what bread did they eat that sh- Shabbos? I don't know. You mean you're asking what happened the first week? Yeah, that's all. Yeah. I'm I don't know. That's I don't his know. question. I, the first job. That, that's my head. That's all I'm asking. That's all. The first job was the one that. from the week before. It was for the outgoing Mishmar to eat. Not the no, it's the first week. They didn't have a base. How could there have been yet? a before on the first there's, week? Gershon, when did it start? Fir- Gershon, there's always when did, a okay. first. There's Let's start from the beginning. So Gershon, I'll give you an example. We're three what boys. Week was the Mishkan three though? boys, right, in the family. Oh. I was wearing pink, so could it have been leftovers or hand me downs? Right? What day of the Same week concept. was the Mishkan built? The what? What's somewhere. The- 
I the love this is getting is just overpowering me. It's, but go it's ahead. Simple. What day of the week was the Mishkan built? Whenever it was built, they made the lachma upon him. The following week, the first Mishmar left. That's when they got it. You're not listening. Uh, Geshi, maybe the first week of the of the Mishkan was done by Moshe Rabbeinu. He made the first bread, stayed all week, and then Aaron, when he took over uh, on on the eighth day, the, you know the, that's how the equation came about. That is a possibility, but I don't know if Moshe Rabbeinu even needed to make lechem upon him. He needed to prepare the Mishkan. Not, I don't know. It's the outgoing know. Mishmar. I don't understand. The outgoing, the Mishmar worked for a week. Right. They get it when they go out. Gershon. Why yeah. did it sit on the, t- why did they there set it up? No the- out- they, didn't, they didn't open the Mikdash and there was no outgoing Mishmar. There's no right, well, You're not following me. You may be, hold on, let, listen. The, the, the first day they opened the Mishkan, there was an incoming Mishmar, no outgoing Mishmar, correct? Right. Right. Right? right. So the incoming didn't get Lechem upon them. They worked for a week and then they got Lechem upon them. There was no first, what do you mean? They put they baked Lechem upon them the first day, put it on the Shulchan. When they left, they had Lechem upon them. Was there Shabbos in between? The Gemara here is saying they skipped it. They baked it on a Friday or Thursday or a Friday and they ate it the following Shabbos. <laughs> what happened that Shabbos? One day was the Mishkan put up. Give me a they day. were on yes. a diet. Take a day. Pick a day. Friday. It works best if it was on a Friday. Let's say they built it Friday, right? No. So they so made the Shabbos on they Friday. Have. There was no outgoing right. Mishmar yet. Of course they didn't have. They worked for a week. That is totally, left the that is totally <laughs> nuts. That's totally nuts. The first Shabbos, uh, they didn't have Lechem upon them. But that's what? correct. No, he's saying that they did. This Gershon, what you're saying is they did have it, but they didn't have to give it out. He's they didn't basically give it out, what right. Gershon it was is saying. Shulchan. What Gershon is saying, Gershon is saying, is that the first. Well, let's say the base of Mikdash started on a third. Whatever the Mishkan started on a Thursday, so that for, that bread lasted nine days. They didn't, meaning it was the same Mishmar for a week and a half. That Mishmar did extra duty that week. Meaning they did, let's say it started on a Wednesday, so that Mishma worked instead of just... That okay. Mishma was Moshe Rabbeinu alone. It could be, I don't know. So, could be. So, he, uh, so Moshe Rabbeinu didn't eat Shalosh Shudas. Now you have a new Chiddush. <laughs> the I first, the first He didn't have a Mizuman. He didn't have a Mizuman. I hear. Okay, I don't know. Okay, I hear. Okay, good. Fine, fine. fine. Anyways... Fine. Okay. Good. So, so anyway, so it's so it's nine days on a standard week. The bread is eaten on the ninth day, right? Chol yom tov liyos v'erav Shabbos. If yom tov falls on erav Shabbos, nechol le Shabbos la sora. It gets eaten on Shabbos for ten because they don't bake it on yom tov, so they'll have to bake it on a Thursday, right? Yom tov is on a Friday. They got to bake it on a Thursday. Shnei yom tov shel Rosh Hashanah. When you have Thursday and Friday as Rosh Hashanah, then nechol le Shabbos la achad also because you have to bake it on a Wednesday. So Shabbos, a week and a half later, is on the eleventh day. That's when it gets eaten. Why? Because it's not doicha, not Shabbos, and not Yom Tov. The Amr doicha Shabbos nasim be Yom Tov. And if the Gemara is right that we said before, Namad Bey is yesterday's daf. That Sorchi Shabbos are allowed to be done on Yom Tov. Am I like doicha Yom Tov? Why can't you bake the lechem upon him when when Yom Tov falls out on a Friday? Amalei shvus kreiva itiru shvus rechay kaloy itiru. No, because in the base of Mikdash. They only allowed Isuri de Rabbanon that were for immediate use, not for a week and a week later. Meaning, if you needed to do some malacha for that day, then you would you're allowed to be doicha any Isur de Rabbanon in the Mesa Mikdash or in the in the in the Mishkan. But if it's gonna be not, it's gonna be bread on Yom Tif, and then nine days later is when you're eating that bread, that's too distance, that's too much of a distance away. We're not gonna allow an Isur de Rabbanon. It is but it's not Yom Kippur. But bottom line is that we we just bring a raya that not a raya, but he holds that it is Yom Tif. Michael So what are you going to say according to him? Why wasn't it baked? 
Marsa was shuls kroy v'tiru, shuls v'chay galay v'tiru. No, and a chanami, that's what the machlaikas is. Whether they allow a shvus kraiva, a shvus rechaika or not, shvus kraiva for sure, meaning something that's going to be um, immediate, then they do allow it. But if it's not immediate, then they that's a machlaikas. Umar sov a shvus rechaika nami atiru. And the other one also holds that they're even allowing a shvus rechaika. Okay, so that's uh, that's the from the lechem upon him. Then the Gemara asks, saying, Most of Rav Mari shtei alechem. So shtei alechem is on shvus, right? There were two breads that were baked on shvus. It's never eaten less than two days from when it was baked, meaning the day it was baked is counted as day one. But never more than three. If it gets baked on Erev Yomtiv, it gets baked on Yomtiv for two days. If it falls, Yomtiv falls out to be on a Sunday, then it gets eaten a yantam shloisha. If you shayna toicha loyas a shabbos loyas a yomtiv. Baking the lechem upon him can't be done not on shabbos and not on yomtiv. A same kasha v'yam it's tzarchi shabbos nasa v'yomtiv. And if you say that the tzarchi shabbos can be made on yomtiv, hashda the shabbos v'yomtiv shari the yomtiv the yomtiv mi boy. If if shabbos if you're allowed to do yomtiv baking on um, shabbos baking on yomtiv, then kol shekain you should be able to do yomtiv baking on yomtiv. Right, and we're saying that the bread, the, sh- the two breads by Shavuos could not be baked on Yom Tif, right? So why don't why are we saying that? So Shani Yosam Dom Akro Lochem Lochem Veloy Lugvoya. No, we only allow you to bake on Yom Tif for yourselves, not for Hashem, right? Not for Gavoya. That's why you have to make the Shtei Alechem before Shavuos. Well, Rav Shimon Gamliel, the Amar Rav Shimon Rav Shimon Askan Doiches a Yom Tif, but according to Rav Shimon Gamliel. Who says that it is Daicha? It will be a shame, Rabshim ben Askan, that it is Daicha Yom Tif. Michael and Maymar. What are you going to say? Meaning, what is he going to do with Lachem? Sover Lach Abashol. He holds like Abashol. Dharma Lachem, Lachem Veloy Le Nachrim. Right? That's a famous din. That means to you, to you and not to Goyim. Meaning, you're allowed to bake for Yidin on Yom Tif. You're not allowed to bake for Goyim. Which is why you're not allowed to have non Jewish guests on Yom Tif. Right? Which people mistake it and they think that you can't have non Jewish guests on Shabbos. It's one of the interesting dinim. You, you're allowed to have a non-Jew on Shabbos. You're not allowed to have a non-Jew on Yom Tif, right? Because Yom Tif, you can, we're afraid that you're going to bake for them. That's weird. I thought it was only Pesach because of the end of the Haggadah. No, that's that's in addition. You can't have them by the Seder. But even when Pesach's on Shabbos, you're not allowed to have a you're um, not allowed to have a guy. You're not allowed to cook for a guy on Yom Tif. Correct. No cooking for a guy. You're cooking in. for them. You're cooking for. For you, you cook no, exactly. we're afraid. We're afraid you're going to cook more for them. So therefore, they made a takana, no goyim, unless if for a cleaning lady or whatever. That that's allowed, but not for a, not for a guest. What about not from? No, not from. It's really a shaila, but lamaisa would we allow? It. Would we allow it? But Shabbos, you are allowed to, because since Shabbos we don't cook anyways. There's no chashash that we're going to cook. Shabbos, not only we're not allowed to cook for goyim, we're not allowed to cook for ourselves either. So there's no chashash that we're going to cook, have a goyim for Shabbos. It was never eaten? The shtei ha-lechem. I don't think it was eaten, the shtei ha-lechem. I'm saying, because you said on Shavuos, you, they were not, you, you, what, what do you say? You can't shavuos? bake it, right? Because it goes for goyim. It's for goyim. Uh, I, I, I don't know why I thought you, we, ate, we ate them. That was a whole chashash that, that was a... Uh, that, that was uh, that was no, that's why we have You're saying that's why we have milk and flashics. Yeah, yeah, chasil lachem, chasil lachem, right? So I thought you you didn't have anything for uh, they didn't eat the shtei lachem. I thought they, I don't know why. I thought they maybe ate. they did. I don't know. Did they eat the shtei lachem? No, I'm saying if you didn't eat it, then I would understand. The, 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 what, what do you the say? Gavoya. You say right. It's, it's gavoya, so, you, so, so right. that's why you can't cook it. But but yeah. if it wasn't, then maybe you could cook. Right, no, but I think it's for Gavoya. Even if I think, even if they do, uh, um, uh, even if they do, it'd still be considered for Gavoya. Even if ultimately uh, somebody could eat it, I think that would still be considered Gavoya. Because Lemaisa, you're making it for, for Hashem, you're not making it to, to be eaten. But, anyways, okay. So, so now we're back to asking Kashas on Hoyle. Do we say Hoyle? A guy can theoretically plow one line 
and he could be over on eight lavin. Talk about a guy having a bad day. This guy is having a bad day. Okay, he he did one plowing and he did eighty surim. Yeah, So he did it with a shor and a chamor. So that's you're not allowed to do a shor and a chamor or any other two animals together. Bein muktoshim and they're hectish, so he's not allowed to do that either. That's two. Uklayim bekerem and the and the field that he's doing is klayim bekerem. Ushvius and it happened to have been shmita year. The yamtif it was also on yamtif. Koyin venazir abes atoma. It also happened to be a field that was tummy, right? That's so that's it. So those are the eighty surim. The Amrin and Hoyl. And if you're gonna say Hoyl, Achrisha Loyl Chayev, he shouldn't be Chayev for plowing. Why not? Hoyl Bachazul Kisu Dam Tzipor. Because what happens if you decide to shecht a bird? So a bird, you have to cover with dirt. I don't know why it chooses a bird. I mean, why can't it choose a a uh, a chaya, like a, a sheep? Whoever it is, you have to cover it with dirt. Even back so, then, everyone ate chicken. I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. Right, so um, so the bottom line is the Gemara is saying, why can't you say hoyl on the plowing? Maybe he's the reason why he's plowing. It could be it's possible that somebody's going to need that dirt that he's plowing in order to put it on the blood after the after the um, the bird is shafted. Right, even though Lamaisa it's not here right now, but that's exactly what how hoyl works. Hoyl works is that even since there is a remote possibility of something being done beheter, so then we allow it. Um, we're talking about um, stones. It wasn't, he was plowing a field of stones. It wasn't dirt. Um, and and uh, the Gemara says they're right. Uh, so, so maybe you can crush them and then do, and do keep you down with that. Right? So the Gemara says, Are you allowed to crush on Yomtif? So the Gemara says, Ruyu Lakachan, Kalachar Yad. You could do it, um, kalachayad. I'm sorry. That meaning you could you could do it kalachayad. It's a question. You could do it kalachayad. So maybe you should still say hoyl. So we say no, but sunma. It's talking about um, it was the, the ground was all rocks, so therefore um, they can't be crushed. So tsunma barzria. So who's doing plowing in a field made out of tsunma? So it's a good summa mid lamal of offer to know it's talking about where there was rocks on the top, but soft dirt on the bottom. Okay, so then for table claim is shum offer to So then just say that there's offer to on the bottom there. Right? And then you can then you would be able to say hoyl. Fine. So now the Gemara changes. Elo Amar Mar Baravashi Batina. No, we're talking about it's mud. It's not dirt. So you can't really cover the Blood with mud, you can cover with dirt, you can't cover the mud. Vatina, Senegamara says, Vatina, Vatina bars Rio, can you plant in mud? So the Gamara answer is, it's, it's wet mud. It's like it's mud that uh, you could theoretically plant in it, but it's not, it will not work for sprinkling, sprinkling it on the blood. Okay, so that's why there's no kasha from Hoyo. Fine. So then the Gemara asks, Eisve, Eisve, Abai, Abai asked again on Hoyel, Hamavashel Kid Hanosha Bechalov. If you somebody cooks Kid Hanosha in milk on Yomtif, another guy is having a bad day. But Eichloi, and he eats it, so he's like a Chamesh. He's going to get five Malkus. Like a Mishum Mavashel Kid Yomtif. He's being getting Malkus because he is cooking the gid on Yomtiv, which you're not allowed to do because the gid on Nosh is treif, so you're not allowed to cook that on Yomtiv. You're only allowed to cook on Yomtiv what you need on Yomtiv. But like him, Shum Eichel Gid, and then you're going to get, you're eating the gid on Nosh, which is also Malkus. But like him, Shum Avashal Basa Bechalov, and you're going to get Malkus being Avashal Basa Bechalov. Now that means that this sheet holds that the gid has taste, right? Why is it not like it's whether the gid has taste? What are you saying? Why do why, why you say that the Gidanasha is treif? I thought we just don't eat it. It's, no, it's it's, no, you're not allowed to eat it. No, it's also to eat. It's, a, it's, it's a separate treif? Is the yeah. wow. No, I don't mean treif. It doesn't it's, mean treif, but you can't eat it. No, it's also oh, I thought, you said, I thought you said no. you meant treif mamash. No, 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 I'm sorry. Thing. No, no, no. I, no, it's shafti. No, you're right. I should have said, meaning it's like, uh, we're not allowed to eat it. It's a, right? it's a pasuk in the Torah. We don't eat Gidanasha. But the point is, is that there are some sheep... Yeah, what are you saying? Say, aren't there like a whole uh, 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 
you know, there's a whole group of people that have the, there's, there's, there are certain mumchas in Eretz Yisrael and had yes. A, yes, they know how to do the hind quarters to get out the uh, ask Elio Ikevik about it. He knows about all this stuff. But do uh, no. What? Do people hold to that in, in America? Not really. It's not fair really. thing. No. It's officially a guy in America that knows how to do it. I think Yossi Kass. Yeah. There was a guy Yossi called Kass. my God who used to do it. No, no, no. That's a different thing, obviously. My, my, Michael. Yeah. My family, my father had a first cousin who had a butcher shop in Meir Sherm, and his name was his name was Shmuel. Like my father, they would call him Shmuel Hamanaka because he knew how to do that. He used to do Taka. that. Yeah, he was you called remember, Shmuel Hamanaka. Aaron, you, you remember remember Manny used to talk about uh, uh, Manny Cohn used to talk about in this year about. There's a, the, the, how delicious it is, and he, the, he knows the, the guy oh, in the Israel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out? We'll do a field trip to New Jersey when you guys are ready. What, this guy that you, uh, the guy's in Jersey? I thought it was in California. There's a guy in California, there's a guy in Jersey also. That guy okay. I get from New Jersey. Yeah, yeah, Bistro. Okay. He's called. Yeah, I sent it to you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, the, so I whatever the, it is, but I hope he's not doing good on Nusha, Mike. That's the bottom line. He's doing no, good on Nusha. No, no, not eating. I'm saying take it out. <laughs> I, thought the, I, thought there's a, I thought the Messiah is not to do it. There was, there is a, there is a Messiah not to do it, but I don't know. There's a lot of stuff like that. I once was speaking to, to a shaykh I said, you know, you can't chef, chef giraffes. He says, why can't you chef giraffes? Because you can't find soy. Give me a giraffe, I'll chef it. He said, I don't know what a chef it. I'm saying there's a lot of, uh, I don't know. Giraffe, giraffe, so giraffe, giraffe means not you so got good a lot anyway. of neck space to pick from. That's true. That is true. <laughs> Whatever it is. Okay, we're digressing a little bit here. But the point Sorry. is that this Gemara is clear. No, no problem. It's good. It's good. But the Gemara here is clearly holding that the Gid has taste. Otherwise, you wouldn't be high of Basar B'chalav. If the Gid is just a tasteless, uh, what do you call a Gid? How do you touch a Gid? Uh, Sinew. It's a sciatic nerve. Sinew. Yeah. Sciatic nerve, sinew, sinew, whatever. So if it's just a nerve, it has no taste. So how could you be over on Basar B'chalav? It's tasteless. So Rashi says it's going according to the sheet that it holds that the, the git does have the git does have taste. So therefore you are going to be don't know the the him, don't know the if it doesn't have too, taste, why would somebody want to eat it? That I don't know. I don't know. That you know what? Why don't you line up schnapps in that in that question too? I don't drink, <laughs> only thought, when I drive. Let me put on my helmet before I said that statement. Okay. I only drink when I drive. <laughs> when you drink enough, you don't care what you're chewing on. It could be a git or a stick. So they answered both kashas. There you go. You answered both kashas. What are you saying, Gershon? The, the other Rishayim answered that it's talking about with the Shuman I get, no? I think it's so, right? The you're cooking, it's yeah. not just the get, it's the Shuman, right? Very good, yeah. Um, okay, so then you get Malkus Vashem Basa B'chalav, Eloikim Vashem Eichel Basa B'chalav, and you're also getting Malkus for eating the Basa B'chalav. Eloikim Vashem Havara, and you're also going to get Malkus for turning on a fire. Meaning there's two separate Yisurim. There's the cooking on Yom Tif, and then there's also making a fire for no good reason. And if you're going to say that on, I'm sorry, and if you're going to say, you shouldn't be on the burning. That's the fifth one is that you made a fire for no reason. Right? You could, you could do something with the fire. Meaning you could say, I'm turning on a fire. Good. So I turned on the fire. Be over on five isurim. Good, but maybe somebody's going to come along. He's going to light a cigarette from my fire, right? And therefore, why should I be chayy for that? That wasn't necessarily saying that you're allowed to smoke on yom tov. I'm sorry for that. For that marshal. Okay, so so amrale apik havara va'ayil get anasha shel nevelos. Okay, so let's take out havara from the five isurim, and we'll put in get anasha of a nevelo, right? So now that's that's a double isur, right, Mike? This is what I was saying before. I, I messed it up. This is a trefa. It's not trefa. It's nevela, but it's a kid from a nevela. So you got two isurim there. Oh, uh, vatani rabchia like in shtayim. Right, rabchia says you get like in shtayim al al chilas of ishali shal vishulai. Of these five things, two were on the eating, three was on the cooking. The so shali shal chilas of mivayle. And if that's the case, there should be three isurim on the eating, right? Not not two on the eating. El apikavara vayil atzim muksa. So let's take out avara. And put in that you took wood that was muksa, meaning you weren't you took wood that you weren't planning on using. So Amar says a muksa dairaisa. Are you saying that muksa is dairaisa that you're going to be chay of malchus for muksa? Everybody knows that muksa is the rabbana, right? So here you have to be saying that it's dairaisa. Amar in yes. It says on the sixth day of on erev Shabbos you have to prepare everything. That mashmur. If you don't prepare it, it's muksa. 
and the Azhar Meyacha, and the warning to do it is from Eloi Sasa Kamalacha, as from the same Azhar as the rest of Shabbos. So he's right now he's saying, so Muks is the Raisa. So Amr Lehi, now this is a long Kasha here, this goes for a while. Amr Lehi, it's not a hard Kasha, it just goes for a long time. Amr Lehi, Amr Lehi, Amr Lehi, if you bring a se may may uh, may offer from where offer is the uh, when they're out the pasture, right? For shachtu tamid biyomtiv mao, and then you use it to shacht shech the carbon yomtiv, right? Can you use it to shech the carbon yomtiv? Because since it's out in the in the pasture, clearly that was not intended to be shechted. You would think that you would bring the animals in; they should be near the mishkan or the beis hamikdash, whatever the mishkan, before. Yomtif, and that you have an intended animal that you're going to use. If you have to go out to get one from way out in the field, that clearly you did not put that aside before Yomtif. Right? Va'at Amr Lona, you told us, and then this is a drusha from a Pasuk in Yecheskel. Right? The Pasuk says, Rashi says, V'seh achas min atzayin min amasayim imashki Yisrael. Right? That's a Pasuk in Yecheskel referring to Karbonus. So now the Gemara darshans each one. Right? So, you told us, se, what does the word se come to teach us? You have to bring a sheep and you can't bring a bachar. Right? You can't, you, if you don't bring the carbon tamid, you can't use a bachar. That would be cheating. Right? A bachar is its own kiddush. You got to bring a regular se. Achas, but like meiser, it has to be one, but not meiser, because my, meiser is meiser behemoth. One, every, one, uh, every 10 animals, you got to give one. You can't use that either. Min hatsoin, but like min ha. Palgus from a sign and not from a palgus. So a palgus uh, goes from right. So Rashi, this is in Rashi that a keves is up to twelve months. A ayil is after thirteen months. The thirteenth month, it's called a palgus, right? That's so. There's three stages. There's a there's a keves, and then there's and then there's a ayil, and then in the middle that one month is a palgus. So you can't bring it from that. Right now on Tamad Aleph. Min then continue. Min Amasayim. What does it mean from 200? Mi Moisa Shte Mois Shen Shtai Rubibar. Right? That you have to take it from, meaning when you take out the wine for the Nasachim, there has to be 200 portions left of wine more than the more than the, what you took. Let's say it's a Nasachim, you take one jug, it has to be 200 jugs left. Nikan. And we hear from this, La Arla Shabbatayla Masayim. We learn out from this that Arla is bottled in 200. Right? Because, um, so because we're saying that Arla, we're saying that, uh, um, yeah, that's, that's how we know that Arla is bottled in 200 because you want to make sure there's 200 left in the bar besides for what you just brought to, to pour on the Mizbeach. Mimashki Yisrael, from the liquids of the Yisrael, right? Yeah, um, what it means, what it means is that it means a meal. Rashi says it means a meal. Yeah, so mimashka Yisrael, minam mutter li Yisrael, has to be something that's mutter for Klai Yisrael to eat. I mean, you have to take the nesachim, the wine, from something that's mutter for Klai Yisrael to eat. Mekan amru, and maybe in a not tevel. You can't bring the wine from something that's tevel, like, because that has to be something that's mutter for Klai Yisrael to eat. And if it's tevel, meaning the trumas and mices weren't taken off yet to give to the kahanim, then it's not mutter for Klai Yisrael. Fine. So we're still not up to the kasha. Now we now starts the kasha. You would think that you can't bring it from, from wine that's muksa, right? Um, but meaning, how would you get wine that's muksa? Why should wine be muksa? So clearly we're talking about wine that you decided you're not using on yomtif. Let's say you planned on keeping it for the next yomtif or whatever it is. So Amrit, ma tevel, mi tevel, Tevel, now this is a, a lumbus here. The Tevel is also what? From itself. Meaning the, the if the wine is Tevel, then the wine itself is also. Afkol shi surei gufa only things that the Iser is in, it's it's in intrinsic Iser. Yotza muksa she'en isu gufa garam lai, ele isu dover acha garam lai. Muksa, when something's muksa, that's not, there's nothing wrong with that item. It's just because you didn't specify using it beyond it, but for etzim it's okay. Had you specified, it would be it would be fine. Tevel is it is in itself not good because you didn't take trumas and off of that piece. 
So that piece itself is also. So now the Gemara is thinking that muksa would you would be would be able to bring because there's nothing also about that muksa. So the Gemara says, "Vi'amar isu muksa deraisa." And if you said isu muksa deraisa, mali isu gufei, mali isu davar acher. What's the difference if it's isu gufei, isu davar acher? Why you wouldn't be able to use it? It's also in a How can you use something that's also in a for on the mizbeach? V'ayin another kasha or atu the amrit chiluk melachas the Shabbos vein chiluk melachas liyantif. You're the one who said that when somebody's over on a bunch of melachas on Shabbos, then they get malchus for each one, but they don't get malchus for a lot of melachas that they do on yantif, right? So elo. So now therefore you can't say that mux is daraisa. Right, that's the kasha. That's the end of the kasha, right? Meaning you can't. This whole concept of chiluk melachas by yomtiv, you're the one that said it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't. You're not. You're not chayim, right? If it was done with one uh, in behelamechas, the one forgetting, right? So now again, we're back to square one. Where exactly which five isurim are you over on on this? Ella apik havara, bayal atzei ashera. Take out havara from those five. And put in that you used wood from Asherah. Baz hara mehacha. And what's the where's the other from? Well, you do have yod chum hum and achem. You're not allowed to stick anything in your in your mouth from chayim. Some of the ravacha bread the rabbi lavai vanilke nami shum loy sav toyeva loy secha. Why don't you add on another makas when you bring avodah zara into your house? Then you're 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 over on the lav of loy sav toyeva loy secha. So why should you only be five isurim? You should be over on sixty isurim. Ella ape kavor avayal atzei hektish. So we're going to say that you, you're not over on Havara, but you're over for using wood that belongs to Hektish. And as hard as from here, and the Asherah should be burned in fire. Do not burn something that's Hektish. So that's the five. Those are the five Isurim. At the end of the day, the five Isurim is, is Atse Hektish. The fifth Isur, Isur is Atse Hektish. Fine. Okay. Now back to so again, let's just as a reminder in the Mishnah is a machlaikis, Rabbi Eliezer and Rabbi Yeshua, what you do with this with this dough that you made into chala that became that became tummy. So what should you do? Right? Again, you can't give it to the Kayan because he's gonna have to destroy it, and you're giving chametz. You can't bake it because it's not the Sarah Yamtif. And you want to leave it, then it's gonna become. It's going to become uh, chametz. So what do you do? So Rabbi Eliezer said that you just um, what do you call? It? What did Rabbi Eliezer say again? Um, uh, he says to bake it and then make, make a challah. And Rabbi Yeshua says, "Who cares? Let it become chametz. It's not has nothing to do with you." That's that. So now we want to say that that machlokes has to do with hoyl. So I'm so so let's say Amar Rami Bar Chama, other of Chista and Rabba machlokes to Rabbi Eliezer Rabbi Yeshua the machlokes of Rav Chista and Rabbah, if you say Hoyel, is the same Machlaik as in our mission of Rabbi Lazar and Mishuahi. Rabbi Lazar, Sabah Ramadin and Hoyel. Rabbi Lazar says you say Hoyel. So since it's possible that you can change your mind on the Chala, so therefore it's considered part of yours, so therefore you got to bake it first. Rabbi Yeshua, Sabah Ramadin and Hoyel, you're not going to say Hoyel, and you're not going to end up uh, using the chala has nothing to do with you, and therefore, meaning the straight for the chala, not not chala, because we're talking about Pesach. Chala has nothing to do with you, and and you're allowed to let it become chametz. So that's what we want to say. So Rav Papa, no, Rav Papa says no. But Dilma Ad can loy come Rav Loza Hasam to read on Hoyel. Maybe Rav Loza says over there you say Hoyel. Ella beidin the kaila the tanura kol chad vachad chazil edi diday. When you're gonna go put in all these doughs into the oven to bake matzah. Each and every one is possible that it belongs to you. But here, when you're going to allow somebody to cook on Yom Tov, even though he's already done eating, and the reason why we're allowing him to cook is because maybe guests are going to come. Maybe you don't say Hoyal because it's not right for him. Right? So then that's that's one time. No, Maybe Rabbi Yeshua says it over there. The loy amrin and hoyel, where you don't say hoyel. Elo de ika chada the loy chazi loy lidi day the loy laarchin. By him, maybe it doesn't. He can't eat it, and the archin can't eat it either, right? Because it's challah. 
But here, where the Archon could eat it, Falabas won't eat it because he's already done eating, but the Archon could eat it. Maybe you do say Ayosin, meaning so. Therefore, we cannot say with definitively that that the the machleik is between Rebbe Yehuda and Rebbe Shua whether you're allowed to bake this matzah and then make it into challah, then do Rav Rosh's challah, or we do, or that we don't care. We can't necessarily say that the machleik is totally in hayal. Fine. So then I'm ruled upon a commander of Yirmiyah and Rav Zera. They said it over in front of Rav Yirmiyah and Rav Zera. Rav Yirmiyah kibla. Rav Yirmiyah was makabel in it. Right, he was makabel that it's the same machloikis, and Reb Zera like kibla. Reb Zera was not makabel that he didn't think that it was the same machloikis. Amalei Reb Yirmi le Reb Zera milsa the kashalon vaasi kamashani, and we had this question for many years. But my plea, Reb Elazar Reb we didn't understand what the machloikis Reb Elazar Reb Yishua was in our Mishnah, whether you should make challah or not, whether you should make it into challah or not. And Hashdam Ruh Mishmei the Gavra Rava. Now they said it over. In the name of somebody Choshev, like Rami Bar Chama, we shouldn't be Makabalit. We don't have a Pshat, right? We've been try- trying to get Pshat and Yeshua for a whole life. We didn't have Pshat. And then comes along a Pshat, Rami Bar Chama, and you reject it. But we don't have any other Pshat. So why are you rejecting it? So I'm relay, Hachi Akabla, this is how can I accept it? Because we have a bride. So I'm relay, Rabbi Yeshua said, Ladvarecha. According to you, he's over on Sasa because he's cooking something that he's not allowed to. It's not, he's baking challah, which is not going to be eaten. The Shasakli, and he was quiet, right? So he said it to Rabbi Leza, and Rabbi Leza was quiet. Now, if Rabbi Rami Barhammer is right, why didn't Rabbi Leza answer Rabbi Shua that I say Hoyo, right? Since it's possible that he could. He could be mater neder on the chala, so it is possible that it belongs to him, right? So Amr Le, so according to then he saw, so he said back to him to Reb Zera, but the Tamech, according to you, how the Tnina of Rabbi This is we learned in Rabbi Zera. Amr Le, Rabbi Lozer, Rabbi Lozer said the Dvarach Harehu Harehu Oyver Mishum Mishum Ba Yiraba Yimotzer V'Shosik Le. Right? You said according to you, you Oyver Ba Yiraba Yimotzer because you're letting this matzah sit, right? Hochanamu Diloy Hadalei. Is that also that means he didn't answer him? How come I had like must listen? But he answered him in the Mishnah. The Tanakhs we learned in the Mishnah. Lo yizel chametz shemuzar lo mishum bayir al bayimotzer. This is not the chametz that we worried about bayir al bayimotzer because this is chala and it belongs to nobody. It doesn't belong to you. You're allowed to cook it. Ella shasik lei b'brayso mahad lei b'mas nisan. No, so it must be that he was quiet in the brayso, but he answered him back in the Mishnah. He, he was quiet in the Mishnah and he answered him back in a different price. So that's so therefore that's the end of that sugya. And um, we basically have a disagreement whether we can say that Rebbe Yez and Rebbe Shua are having a machloik is about hoyil or not. So then we just now then the rest of the daf till the next Mishnah we get into uh, more baking chametz and then some hilchus chala, but we'll continue that tomorrow. Bez Hashem. All right. Uh, good tonight. What time tomorrow? What time is luch benching tomorrow? Anybody? What time is luch benching tomorrow? Uh, I think four twenty-seven. Four twenty. Oh, it's getting later. It's mama's getting later, right? So what time tomorrow? Five to four. Or Ten to Sounds four. Sounds good. Five to four. Rabbi Stein, when do you get out of uh, quarantine? I'm not sure. I got to ask the doctor. Exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. Time. I told him you're going to soak that for as long as you can. I, that's true. That's true. <laughs> but uh, you've got to be healthy. When do you um, see the doctor? Jacko, nobody blames you for trying to avoid Landau. Yeah, I'm not seeing the doctor, but my last, the last one that tested positive was Wednesday in the, in the family. But he this was symptomatic Wednesday. on Tuesday. Yes. So another two two weeks yeah. Wednesday. The, you know what Wednesday you could do if you have every kid get another test positive, then you can just keep on going. So far, we're up to Rosh Hashanah next year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can get out of davening for the other. There you go. There you go. We'll have the minion outside. You'll daven by an open window. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, whatever it is. So I don't know. I got to speak to the doctor, see what they say. 
Yeah, I wasn't take around. a break. Take a break. No, my son. Very often, they they tell you that as long as there's someone in the house that didn't have COVID yet, ten days. So I don't know. First of all, they're doing the seven days if you test positive, negative, right? Does that that right? But I'm talking about people that are possibly infected. If you don't know if they're infected yet. I don't Sometimes. know because I wasn't around the son. We never, he never came around me. Dafka stayed away. So the one that tested positive, I really haven't been with him. My Lord in the Chavrusa, but we're 20 feet apart. So 